Hi everybody. Uh, this is a reading <clears throat> for Aquarius for the next 48 hours. What's your current energy? What's coming towards you? <clears throat> and outcome and advice. Please have in mind this is a general reading. It cannot be resonated with everybody out there. Timing is fluid. It's for the next 48 hours, but timing is fluid. Uh, take what resonates with you, leave the rest behind. Cross watchers are welcome also. Uh, please hit the, the subscribe button so you can receive my readings. And let's begin. What's the current energy for my Aquarius people? What's the current energy for my Aquarius people? Show me the cards I need to see. What's the current energy for my Aquarius? The Ace of Cups. What's the current energy for my Aquarius? What's the current energy for my Aquarius people for the next 40? No, the current energy. The current energy for Aquarius. What's the current energy for the Aquarius collective? The Six of Pentacles. What's the current energy for my Aquarius people out there? Show me the cards I need to see. And the Six of Cups. <clears throat> six, six. Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Equal give and take. At the bottom of the deck we have the full. I don't know if you are dealing with an Aries. Doesn't have to be. This is just an energy because you are asking for the zodiacs. I say what I have here. And the Ten of Cups. So your current energy. I see a long term commitment with the soulmate, equal give and take. A very. And too much love, too much love here. It's coming towards my Aquarius for the next 48 hours. Oh, just. This just started. It's just started. It can be a Leo. At the bottom of the deck, I have the Devil and the Nine of Wands here. I see some fightings, inner fightings. And you, are, you just planted the seeds or somebody else planted the seeds for this long-term commitment. Yes, it's something new, a rebirth. With the strength card and the death card, it can be a Scorpio also, Leo Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. Again, Aries. It doesn't have to be. Maybe they have this energy or they have this zodiac in their chart. So what's coming towards my Aquarius people for the next 48 hours? Page of Cups. It's coming the Empress, the Empress, who's coming towards my Aquarius people, the Ace of Wands, is a very uh, fresh new beginning, but under the Nine of Wands, I see fear, somebody's afraid of this love, it's under the Ace of Cups, I see Nine of Wands, and uh, fear and uh, the page of cups <laughs> but we have a person here yes uh, you feel this person is lying to you with the page of swords hiding in this, this person maybe kind of immature keeping secrets or uh, uh, having any addictions or obsessions Let's see what's going on with my Aquarius for the next 48. Four of Wands, the Sun. The 
Mm -hmm. Ten of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Good luck, destiny, especially with the Sun and the Four of Wands and the Ten of Wands. Uh, you let go of these uh, fears. Yes, you are letting go. You are the will is standing in your favor, and you are being happy because. Show me more about this person for my Aquarius. Ace of Cups, a new beginning. Yes, you will take it. This is what you really want, wish fulfillment. This is what you are hoping for this person who is kind of immature to become a stable. And your wish is fulfilled with the Sun card and the Ace of Pentacles here. Yes, this person will find balance. The Nine of Pentacles. It's causing you heartbreak because you feel you are fighting alone for this relationship. You feel you are, you are in this, uh, you started, you are in the beginning. You, you want to make dreams, uh, you want to make plans for this, but um, you feel unable because you feel you are uh, having this relationship alone. It is changing because I see a lot of uh, potential in the future. A lot of potential. What's coming towards my Aquarius for the next 48? Talk to me about this person that my Aquarius is dealing. The devil. The devil under the wheel of fortune. And at the bottom, the, key, the, the king of pentacles. This immature person becomes a king. Under the wheel of fortune, we have the devil. So the situation is changing. You are not, you are no longer alone in this relationship or in this commitment. The king of pentacles came out and at the bottom, the ace of swords, victory, victory. Yes, you will, you will succeed. This person is changing. So, what's the outcome for my Aquarius for the next 48 hours? What's the outcome in this connection? What's the outcome? Please show me. Yes, moving forward, Six of Swords. Moving forward, what's the outcome? Too many cards. Some of you are very intuitive people. Some of you have psychic abilities. Every time your cards are flying, I get a lot of uh, energy from some of you. <laughs> yes, yes, I said this. Uh, very intuitive uh, people. I have Aquarius. My Aquarius, uh, most of you are very intuitive with the High Priestess. This is confirmation of what I just said. Uh, I, because I was feeling this and it came out. Very strong intuition. Some of you have psychic abilities also. So, what's the outcome? One more part for the outcome for my various people and this situation here with this person temperance clarify the temperance please clarify the temperance for my aquarius stability stability three of pentacles stability yes this person with the hermit here can be virgo also uh, i see a lot of earth energy here. The devil can be Capricorn also, Virgo. Because some of you want to hear signs, Aries, Leo, Scorpio. This is energies. Uh, or maybe they have this in their chart. Or maybe you are dealing with these zodiacs. 
strongly. I have two Leo cards here and many ones. <clears throat> so with the Hermit here, this person is going within. They learn their mistakes, they learn their lessons and they are changing their behavior towards you. You are no longer alone in this relationship. Any advice for my Aquarius people for the next 48 hours? Any advice from Spirit, please? Any advice from Spirit for the next 48 hours for my Aquarius people? What's the advice? Can you... oh. Ten of Wands, yes. Uh, ten, ten of Swords, excuse me. Your pain is, your heartbreaking is over. It's finished. It's the ultimate uh, pain after the tower, of course. Yes. Uh, love. Queen of Cups. The advice is that maybe, yes, uh, give this person a chance. Give this person a chance. And with the temperance, give this person this time, and they are going within. Ah, they are going within. Yes, I see this. They are going within. Maybe they were heartbroken in the past, and they are afraid to love. Or I see for some of you that this person was having only fun, because as I said, I saw a mature person, player person, just having fun, but give this person time. The advice is to give this person time, show them love, show them love, so they can um, overcome their heartbreak because they are suffering too much inside. Maybe you are aware of this, maybe you don't know this, maybe they are fighting alone, and this behavior, this toxicity, this devil energy is coming out from past traumas, maybe childhood traumas or a previous relationship. So give this person this time. It's not too much. It's not too much time. Just a little bit time. And they are coming. Uh, to you, stable. They are going within. But show the, this person love in the advice. This person needs love. And you need to have a conversation from what uh, I sense here, from the cards I see, that a relationship is not only based on, based on intimacy. It requires many other things. You need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this person because uh, I see in many cards this childish behavior, this um, immaturity. Even at the last card that I pulled out, it's a page, page, this immaturity. I have three pages here. I don't, oh, yes, three pages. This is a childish behavior, or uh, they have this inner fight. You need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, talk to them about their heartbreak, what is bothering them, tell them that they, they, they can feel free to open their heart to you. And this person, I see this person becoming stable, leaving this childish behavior, these addictions, this uh, heartbreak, whatever they are into, these obsessions, this, um, this uh, dark uh, energy that they have, I, this immaturity, I see them with your love, with your love, and your help. They are leaving everything behind and they, they, you are helping them uh, going through stability, going towards stability. And you are a very intuitive person. 
and you know how to approach this person. You know the way. And you have the power also to change this person. And I see this person changing very fast, very, very fast. It can be younger than you in age, and maybe this age difference is a problem, but uh, they are changing because of you. I see this change from childish and immature behavior to stability, but they need your help. You need to guide them and, um, yes, guide them. They need love. They have a lot of traumas from past. It can be from childhood until now. It can be from past relationship. But I sense, I sense it's from childhood. I sense it's from childhood, maybe absence of parents, absence of love. Maybe that's why they don't know how to behave in relationship. They don't know how to express their love and they do it with the wrong way that is hurting you. They think that they can express it with intimacy, but this is not the correct way. And with your help and your love, they are changing. This is what I have for you. Please hit the like button so uh, this video can be spread uh, for whoever needs to watch it out there. And if you like this video, of course. And uh, feel free to let me know in the comments about your situation and, and if this resonates with you or not. I have my contacts, uh, my contact details in the description box below. You can contact me for anything you want in my email. Uh, again, this is a general reading. Timing is fluid. Take whatever uh, resonates with you and leave the rest behind. And hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you will be notified for my daily readings. Thank you for watching.